in a previous video, I gave a brief overview of what our Breeze Church Management System was and the benefits to the parish. In this video, I'm going to show our parishioners of St. John's how to create their account on Breeze. So let's get started. Hi, I'm John Haddad from St. John of Damascus Church, and I'm so glad you could join me today. Creating an account on Breeze will be by invitation only. Any member of St. John's who has an email address on file will receive an invitation to create an account. If you are a member and haven't received an invitation to create an account, please fill out our parishioner update form to update your email address and other contact information by going to the following webpage, stjohnd.org slash parishioner-update. When we receive an updated email address, we'll send you an invite to create your Breeze account. The link for the parishioner update page will be in the description below. Okay, on to creating your Breeze account. Now for the rest of this series on the Breeze demos, we'll be using a fictitious member and his family named William Zorro. So the first step of the process is when you receive an email from the church is to create an account. The email will look something like this. To create your account, simply click the Create Your Login button in the email. You will then be presented with a screen like this to create your account. Enter in a username of your choosing. It's recommended you use your first initial and last name or first middle initial and last name. But once again, you can choose whatever you want the username to be as long as it's unique in our database. I'm going to type in W Zorro. Now enter a password. The password has to be a strong password. You can use uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. You will not be able to create an account with a weak password. So I'm going to enter my password. Once you're done, click the Create User button. That's it. You have now created your account on the St. John's Breeze system. You will receive an email acknowledging that you've set up the account, but you can log in directly from here if you'd like. Okay, let's log in for the first time. In your browser window, Enter the following address, stjohnd.breezechms.com. It's probably a good idea to bookmark that link so you can quickly access it in the future. However, there's no need to worry because if you go to St. John's home page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a link called Member Login. So it will be at the bottom of every web page on St. John's website so you can quickly access the login. Now simply enter your username and password that you created in the first step. And click sign in. Notice that if you forgot your password, you would simply click the forgot password link at the bottom, you would then enter your email address and you will receive an email with instructions on how to reset your password. So I'm just going to click sign in. Now that we're logged in, you will be presented with a simple dashboard as well as menu items on the top. You can customize your dashboard by adding or removing elements or moving things around. 
For example, if I want to see the upcoming events on my dashboard, I simply check off that box. If I want to move the upcoming events to another area, I can move it around. So we'll be getting into these in a little more detail. There you have it. In a few simple steps, you've created your Breeze account and entered into the dashboard. When you are ready to sign out, simply go to the gear icon and click log out. We will discuss other features in upcoming videos. Please watch those videos in more detail to learn about each feature. If you ever need to log in, remember simply enter stjohnd.breezechms.com in your browser or go to St. John's homepage, scroll down to the bottom and click member login. That will take you to the login page. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please email us at breeze-admin at stjohnd.org. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.